Welcome to Show Up and Glow. My name is Jalen. This is my cozy corner. A space created just for you to tune in and chill out. If this interests you, I invite you to find some headphones, a quiet space, and join me for a calming and comforting experience. If this is not for you, that is okay. I appreciate you stopping by. As you notice yourself enjoying your stay, please be sure to like and subscribe for more of this calm and cozy vibe. Now let's get started. Today, in honor of the Barbie movie, we're bringing it back and we're doing a comic book. So if you're new here, if you came to this video because you were searching Margot Robbie, Ryan Gosling, the Barbie movie, Margot Robbie interview Barbie movie, Greta Gerwig, Barbie and Ken, the Barbie movie soundtrack. So, um, I was very much a Barbie girl when I was a little kid and the toy aisle of any major store or KB Toys or Toys R Us, I only went and looked at Barbie dolls and that's all I ever wanted. And I had tubs of them, and I loved them so much. And I, I, I was not one of those people who would cut on Barbies and color on them and chop them up. I really cherished them. I did not take them in the bathtub. I, I took them out of the box though, and I would play with them and I would feel their silky hair. And you know what? I should have brought a Barbie, a Barbie out for this video. How dare I? I really, really shrewded that up. But I loved Barbie. And I am very excited for the Barbie movie, so I thought today we would dive right into one of my vintage Barbie comic books. My father worked for Marvel Comics when I grew up. It's pretty cool. And we got access to some really cool stuff. And Barbie comics, because I was Barbie obsessed, my dad knew that he needed to bring every single one of these Barbie comics home, and he did. And that's what we're going to go through the day. Just one. Just one. I've loved following on the social medias all of Margot Robbie's Barbie looks. I, I can't. I'm obsessed. They were non-stop. I couldn't get enough. My girl Issa Rae showing up on my carpets also looking flawless. And then Ryan Costin coming out, doing his thing. Oh, 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 loved it. So today, if you're new to the Cozy Corner, all I want you to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Enjoy the time together with me and your fellow viewers. If you're a regular, welcome. Welcome. Nice big ol' hug. That's that pat you do on some people's backs after you hug. Um, and that's it. Uh, grab yourself some tea. Grab yourself a nice cozy drink or a cozy blanket or pillow or socks. Just lay your head down. If you start to feel sleepy, go ahead. If you want to watch the whole thing, go ahead. So let me tell you a little bit about how we do comic books around here. Because of copywriting. Um, and I don't want to get like banned on YouTube. We kind of improvise the scenes that are going on in the comic book. And I'll show you pictures and we'll just kind of walk down memory lane on certain advertising and certain movies that sometimes they advertise in the comic books. But overall, we just have a silly moose time. And we just relax. 
this comic book is from March. Uh, what year? March 1996. This was published by Marvel Comics. And I remember really loving this particular Barbie comic book because of the cover and the story inside. I love everything sparkly and glittery and overly girly, so the front of this one really spoke to me. Take a look. Take a look. She's flying through the air and it says, Flying Hero Barbie. Helping friends everywhere. I love it. Look at her little foot. She's just like, I'm coming to save you. And I'm going to look fierce while doing it. What's up? I love it. I love it. Oh, okay. So already off the bat. Um, crunch berries were a staple in my home growing up. For sure. So I'm going to read this. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see what the back of this says. Oh, that's the other thing. I haven't read or looked through the comic book in years. So I don't know what's going to be on the inside. We're all kind of exploring it for the first time. Woo okay, so the back says... So there I was. Oh, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a voice for this kid. Let me show you what it looks like. Nervous to go to school. So there I was, going to a cool party at my new school. And I didn't know anybody. I mean, I was shaken in my shoes. I felt like I was from another planet. Then the cabin of confidence showed up with all with my all-time favorite Crunchberry cereal. Thanks to the delicious Crunchberry's blast and the help of Cap'n Crunch, I was ready to party. And I did. Made a ton of friends and we danced our brains out. You and the cabin, make it happen, crunch. Oh, and then there's like a little a little sidebar, a little bubble, he says. You may be sweating it now. Just be yourself and everything will be cool. The captain said that. And this kid just said, thanks, cabin. Now I'm ready for some serious fun. Rock on, my man. All right, let's see what Flying Hero Barbie gets into. Okay, so in this issue... I mean, is that purple not the most calming and comforting purple color you've ever seen? The first story is called Catch the Courage, Cosmic Commotion. The second, cur the second courage, the second story is called Raging River, Rescue on the Rapids. Okay, so right off the bat, we have Barbie and her three friends, Rip roaring through the sky, Barbie and Catch the Courage. One friend says, I can't wait to see the space, I can't wait to see the space shuttle Courage blast off, Teresa and Barbie. Teresa says, me neither, Kira. Imagine the first space shuttle to Mars, Barbie. It will be a great achievement, Kira and Teresa. Okay. They're looking forward to, well, it's ironic, right? They're looking forward to, like, a shuttle launch, but they're flying through the air. I think me as a bystander and observer, if I saw just three women flying in the air near a space shuttle launch, I would completely divert my attention over to the three flying women and be like, da -da 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 -da. let me just watch this. Okay, cool, space shuttle, okay. They're flying in the air. I, I probably can't do that. Especially if it's Barbie. Anybody have one of these? A play mobile? I don't know what that is. I don't know what kind of doll that is. Anybody have one of these? Tell me in the comments below. So here it is. Take a look. 
They are at the launch of the shuttle Courage. And the girls are about to watch Courage take off. The space shuttle blasts off. And then the girls are like, uh-oh, 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 Barbie. Look at it go, says Teresa. What a great accomplishment for the United Countries, says Kira. Everything looks wonderful, but I better check just to be sure, says Barbie. And so flying hero Barbie looks far into the sky and sees a big fiery rock in outer space. That meteor is moving at about 6,000 miles per hour, and the Courage is traveling at 5,000 miles per hour. By my calculations, they will be colliding in just one minute. Quick intermission. Enter the NBA. Go on. Anybody can. Anybody can enter the NBA. Go on. This kid did. Enter the NBA. Oh no, are you on the edge of your seat? What's gonna happen? Okay, so from what I gather here, um, basically the Barbies are like, okay, I gotta go, see you later. And then these people down here are like, wow, Barbie and Kira and Teresa are just like the freaking coolest. Like how cool if they're gonna race the shuttle because they don't know what's going on, right? They don't know that Barbie's trying to stop a meteor. Like, Barbie can't tell him that. Like, that'd be a national security breach or, you know, panic. So these people down here are like, oh my gosh, they're so cool. Like, trying to fly as fast as a space shuttle. And then over on this page, they're in outer space now, and the news reporter is like, wait, what? They, how? And, okay. And then they get to outer space, and they're like, where, Barbie? Where did you see this? And she's like, ooh, I don't know. I thought it was going to be, like, right here. And then Teresa's like, let me open up my force field and knock the ship down a little bit and knock the asteroid out a little bit. And Barbara, I need you to kick the meteor. And then Kira, I need you to freaking hang on to that ship. Girl power, am I right? And then the news anchor is like, Holy cow. Women can do so many things. Because it's like that time, you know, in society where he's just like kind of judging women. But then like they stop a meteor and he's like, oh, cool. Well, I could probably do it better. Like it's that. It feels like that time. And then the astronauts are like, way to go, Barbie. And Barbie's like, heck yeah. And then the mom and the kid are like, oh my God, they raised the spaceship. Like they still, it's not processing still that she was trying to deflect they're just like wow she actually did it and then barbie's like Whoo, what a day what a day and then she just goes home that's it that's the end of that one now here is barbie and raging river looks like her and her friends are having a nice little picnic after saving the world and there's a cute dog, and a boy, and his parents that come along, and we'll see what kind of mischief they get into. Oh, they need help. Everyone starts going for a little hike, a little white water rafting, and then, uh-oh, we're drowning. Uh oh, that's not very cozy. We're drowning. And then Barbie's like, uh, not on my watch. I'm freaking Barbie hero. Everybody back up. Everybody back up. I gotta spread my cape and fly there. And that's exactly what they do. Flying through the air, looking gorgeous, obviously. Obviously. Um, oh, good. You could get Barbie subscriptions in here. Ooh, look yummy. Chef Boyardee Spider Man. 
Anybody feeling a little hungry? A little hungry? Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee. Heck yeah. Oh no. And then, catastrophe. The girl flies out of her raft. She starts falling. Barbie has to come save the day. She reunites everyone together. Because that's what heroes do. I mean, her braid is perfect. Barbie's perfect. I mean, it looks... Even Teresa down here in the corner. Her little half up, half down. Her bangs are perfect. My bangs would not be able to do all this and still look good and we're just like casually post up next to a tree. That just would not happen. So then it gets to the end and Barbie has to meet a park ranger and she's like, oh, and it looks like maybe it was that girl's husband or boyfriend or brother, or whoever that other guy was. And just to be like, hi, I'm Barbie. I just saved your loved one and your dog from going over a river. Where were you? Just like all nice and calm, like, hmm? Where were you? I'm also wearing high heels and a full face of makeup. Where were you? And he's like, oh, I just, uh, I got lost. She's like, okay, come with me. And then she reunites them. But she kind of tells that girl she just saved. She's like, I think you should get another boyfriend or brother or husband or whatever he is. He should have tried to save you. You deserve better, girl. And then the three of them are like, yeah. And they give her like a wink. They all agree. And then Barbie's like, I'm also taking your dog home with me. He's mine now. He loves me. And they're like, okay, it's the least we could do. Thank you for saving our lives. That was, that was the story that Marvel put out there. You heard it here first. I always loved this part. Oh, by the way, the story's over. I always loved this part of Barbie magazines. Like in the back, they would like let Barbie have different outfits that like, the reader could create for her. So these are the three outfits that three readers created for Barbie. So this one is by Holly. She was six years old. This one is by, oh my goodness. Maybe it's Sibian. She or he was nine years old. And this one was Gabriella, 10 and a half years old. Sweet. One final fun piece of all Barbie comics. You used to be able to write a letter to Barbie. And as you can see, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six individual letters that Barbie herself obviously answered. So we're going to kind of just skim over them and see which one is my favorite and I'm going to read it out loud to you. Okay. Let's see what they were writing to her back then. Some of these are bonkers. Some of these are off the wall bonkers. And some of them are written by like 40 year old men at the time. Cause they have you put like your age and your name and where you live. And sometimes we read the back of these and it's concerning. Okay, we're gonna read this one. Bring it in. Come on in. It reads, Dear Barbie, 
I want to thank you for helping kids all over the earth decide what to do about the problems they face. I think everyone who works on Barbie comics must be nice and friendly. I have a big, big problem. I have to get glasses. I'm afraid I'll get called four eyes or frame face. What should I do? Elizabeth Hood, age eight. Barbie says, Thanks for all the compliments, Elizabeth. You know, wearing glasses isn't so bad. We bet lots of kids in your class or in your school wear glasses. Try talking to them. Find out what their experience was when they first got their glasses. If they get teased, ask them how they dealt with it. Be confident and positive about it. After all, you'll be able to see better. Pick out frames you really love wearing so it will be easier to put them on every day. Let your friends and classmates know you'll be getting glasses ahead of time and they won't be so surprised when you come in wearing them. As you get older, you may want to ask your parents or eye doctor about contacts. Remember, kids are notorious for teasing other kids about anything they possibly can. Don't let them get to you and they will probably stop. It's only fun to tease someone when they get upset. It's only fun to tease someone when they get upset. It's only fun to tease someone when they get upset. I don't find I don't find teasing fun, Barbie. I maybe I'm interpreting that wrong. Final 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 phrase. Hey, many of us here at Barbie Comics wear glasses. We think you'll be okay. Hang in there and good luck. You heard the voice. You heard the voice in your own head. I didn't even have to try to do it. You heard it. Because I'm hearing it every time. And that's Barbie. That is Barbie. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to see the Barbie movie, if you've seen the Barbie movie, your thoughts on the Barbie movie, your thoughts on Margot Robbie. Your thoughts on everything. We love to connect here in the cozy corner. So, thank you so much for being here with me today. You could be anywhere on YouTube and YouTube brought you here and I so greatly appreciate that. So, I'll see you again real soon. Take care.